Now we will see the place value for the following given abacus. Now we will see first we will write the digit, then we will write the place and then we will write the place value for it. Here in the number 1330 is given. First we will write the digit. What digit do you have here? You have a 0 here. What digit you have here? You have a 3 here. What digit you have here? Again a 3. And here a 1. Now I am putting a cross sign so that we can multiply it. Now in the place value you have what here? 0. So we will write 0. So one. this is what? This is your 1's place. This is your 1's place. This is your 10's place. This is your 100's place. And this is your 1000's place. Now 0 into 1 is equal to a 0. 3 into 10 will be a 30. 3 into 100 will be 300. Now 1 into 1000 will be 1000. Now we shall see the place value for the given numbers. Now here we will write this as 0 1's. This will be written as 3 tens. You see this in the tens place. So this will be written as three tens. Now this is in your hundreds place. So this will be written as three hundreds. And this is in your, this one is in your thousands place. So this will be written as one thousands. In the same way, we'll try doing this sum. Now, we'll first write the digits place. Here, 8, here, 5, 2, and 7. Here, the place value of it. This is 1's. This is in your 1's place. This is in your 10's place. This is in your 100's place. And this will be in your thousands place. For your reference, I'm writing it here. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place. Now, 8 into 1 will be 8. 5 into 10 will be a 50. 2 into 100 will be 200. And 7 into 1000 will be 7. Thousand. Now we will write the place value for these. Now 8 where do you find it? In the 1's place. So you will write it as 8 1's. Now this 5 is in your 10's place. So you will write it as 5 10's. Now this 2 is in your 100's place. So you will write it as 2 100's. And last, this 7 lies in your thousands place. So we will write this as 7 thousands.